Okay, so our dough has been resting for about 35, 40 minutes. We just took it out and let it rest on the counter of the table for about 10 minutes so it's easy to work with. So I'm gonna gently roll this out. And if you have a bench scraper, it will help you when your dough starts to stick. And another telltale sign that your dough is starting to get warm, which we don't really want to happen, is that your butter will start to melt and will start to stick. And that's when you know that you want to get it right back in the refrigerator. Just pop it on a, a baking sheet and put it in the fridge, or you can even pop it in the freezer. Okay, so you want to roll this out to um, about three inches larger than your tart pan because your tart pan has straight sides. And you can see here, this is my tart pan, the bottom comes off how tall the sides are. So you want to make sure that your tart dough is going to be able to accommodate that. And then you want to make sure that the thickness is about between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. So let's see if we can delicately roll this up. Yeah, it might work. Okay, so we got it in there. So I'm just taking some of this extra off of the sides and I'm building up the crust a little bit. So I noticed when I rolled it out it wasn't very even and that's a great way to even it out when you see that yeah you didn't quite get it the right size. It takes practice, it takes a lot of practice but it's fun practice. Okay so we've cleaned up the edges. Another way to do it is to just roll your pin straight over the top. Like here I can see that my edge is a little bit thicker because I added some extra. Okay, so just take that off. And then you want to dock your uh, your dough, which means you just want to kind of poke holes in it so that it doesn't puff up too much. So you want to put a piece of parchment that fits the bottom of the dough and slightly comes up the sides into the pie crust, or sorry, into the tart dough as it is now, and then fill it with pie weights. So you can use the ceramic pie weights, which look like little ceramic marbles. You can use dried beans, which are very inexpensive and work great. And that will keep weight on the dough so that it doesn't puff up and, uh, and shrink. It'll hold its shape perfectly when it comes out of the oven and then it will be ready to fill. Um, if you have questions about the tart dough and the ingredients and the recipes, you can visit chef2chef.net, the forum section, Ask a baker, and you can post your questions, and bakers from all over the country, actually all over the world, will be there to answer your questions. So thanks so much for watching. Give the, the tart dough a try. I think you're going to love it, and you'll see just how easy it is. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.